Hi everyone and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we're doing a hovercraft project. Our hovercraft is going to be powered by a hair dryer and is made from recycled materials. Mainly a uh, tray, like a food tray, and a paper cup. So we're going to gather up our supplies and we're going to prepare our materials. So you can see we've got our tray here. We do have a polystyrene tray. Um, you could also do this with a cardboard tray. Uh, whatever you have available will work. We're going to cut our cup and we're going to cut off two rings, 1.5 centimeters in width. So we're just going around here and making pencil marks so we can see our measurements. You can just do this with any ruler. And we're going to just mark, so we end up cutting off two rings, each one 2.5 centimeters in width. And then we're going to make a little art shape here, and that's going to be the windshield that's going to go onto our hovercraft. So we're just going to trace here. You can do this by hand. You could just cut it with scissors, however it works for you. Now we're using an X-Acto knife. If you have younger kids, this is a step that should be done by adults. And we're going to cut off those two rings. And there we go. And now we're just going to cut out that little half circle that we're going to be using for our windshield. Now, take the larger of the two rings, place it in the middle, and trace around the outside with a pencil. And then we're going to cut out that circle. So this is the spot where we're going to be pushing air through that's going to power our hovercraft. In this experiment, we're learning a lot about air pressure. It's a great physics experiment. So we've put the larger cup in there. Now we're going to take a skewer and we have measured the inside of the other uh, ring that we have there and we've cut the skewer to fit exactly across the middle. We painted ours black and now we've just got a little propeller that we've made out of paper and we're going to glue it into place. Our propeller is not functional, it is purely decorative. So your kids can get creative with this and create however they want with their propeller. So there we go, there's our little propeller system. Because we're using the polystyrene tray, we're using a polystyrene glue. If you're using a cardboard tray, you could just use regular white glue. And now we're just going to glue that ring in place in the middle. You want to make sure that's nice and secure so when you blow air through that hole, it doesn't come apart. There we go. Now we're going to glue the windshield in place. If your kids want to get creative, they could put like a little Lego minifig or some sort of figurine behind the windshield so it looks like they're driving. Now we're going to take our propeller and just glue it into place on the back. And there you go. Our hovercraft is done. This quick and easy STEM experiment is so much fun. All you do is take a hair dryer now, aim it in the middle of the hole there, and watch your hovercraft move. For more STEM experiments and projects, visit steampoweredfamily.com. Have fun. Bye.